Good day class. Welcome to the third session. In this session, we will research the potential of a particular idea or opportunity as a new venture. A market is a place where customers can exchange money for their needs and wants in the form of goods and services. There is a criteria for evaluating the success of a new venture, which includes a market feasibility study, product description, preliminary evaluation of new venture, marketing information, and analysis. It is important to analyze the market to determine whether your idea is practical, suitable, and profitable. Every business should be concerned about its market because it exists within a market and is affected by the market. By ensuring that your business satisfies the needs of customers, you find out if your business is a feasible marketing opportunity since your customers are the reason you are in business. A product or service exists to satisfy the needs of a customer. Customers do not buy products or services, but instead buy the benefits that are offered by the product or service. Marketing is essential for the creation of a new product. Since the survival of the business depends on the new product innovations, by being creative and flexible as an entrepreneur, you stand a chance of providing a better service in comparison to your competition. Products are categorized into a number of broad categories. We will look at some of the categories and the type of products they include. Industrial products are used to produce other products. An example of this is steel used to produce machinery and equipment. Commercial products aren't used directly in the production of other products. Instead, they assist production. Examples of commercial products are computers and office supplies. Consumer products are products that a consumer eats, drinks, or uses. Consumer products are separated into three main categories, which are convenience products, shopping products, and speciality products. Consumer products normally belong to more than one group because they are used for more than one purpose and can be acquired from different places. Convenience products are products that can easily be purchased by a consumer at a variety of stores for low prices. Shopping products are only bought after the customer has conducted a comparison of similar and competitive products. The comparison criteria could compare price, style, quality, or even the service delivery by the entrepreneur. Speciality products are identified by dominant brand names and have special features to differentiate them from competitors, for instance, Nike and Samsung. There are other types of products such as staple products, impulse products, emergency products, and service products. A preliminary evaluation is conducted after you have done the market research. You will basically be evaluating the findings of your market research. You should find a way to make your findings to work in your favor in order for the venture to survive. Marketing information is acquired by conducting a market research, which will help you find out whether sales goals can be met and helps with financial planning. You need to keep on acquiring information in order to stay competitive. When conducting a survey, you may need to use specialists in market research to give you the information you need for the business you wish to start. They could assist you by giving you the market potential, sales forecast, and an action plan on how to serve the market. There are two forms of data, primary data and secondary data. Primary data is collected through the entrepreneur's own research efforts, which could be through the means of interviews, studying, doing surveys, and observation studies. Secondary data is acquired by another person, business, or organization, and it can be acquired by reading reports, newspapers, and magazines. In order to develop a successful and competitive business, the entrepreneur is responsible for conducting a business environment research 
which will reveal opportunities and threats while it helps you determine the strengths and weaknesses of the business. When analyzing the business environment, you need to assess the external and internal environment, which is conducted through SWOT analysis. We have come to an end of our third session. Let us take a break and then continue with the next session.